I think an awful lot about my photography and I've quickly learned that the more you progress through photography, the more skills you ascertain and the more skills you develop, the more you become this perfectionist. And there's nothing wrong with being a perfectionist. Perfectionism helps you to create these very high standards. It helps you to push yourself further and further and continue to learn and to grow, especially as a photographer. Um, the problem is when you can't strike that balance between enjoying the process of creating and the perfectionist inside of you. And what I mean by that is when you set yourself these very high standards and let's say you want to go out shooting on a particular day but the day doesn't turn out to be like you envisioned and you know that you won't create these portfolio style images on that particular day well then the perfectionist inside of you will say well don't go out and shoot even though the creator inside of you is grappling and struggling and bursting to just get out with the camera and it's when you can't strike that balance that it becomes an issue and this is something that I've really been battling in the last couple of months and not just be I don't think it's just because of the the pandemic I'm sure that has had a massive impact on it and all creators are feeling the pinch right now but it's something that I've thought about even before the pandemic and I love the mechanical process of landscape photography where you plan an image you take the necessary steps you set it up and everything just comes into fruition but I also love the run and gun style of very much opportunistic shooting where you don't know what's going to happen you've no aspirations you've no preconceived ideas and it's it's striking that balance because often on the days where you've no planning done or no pre preconceived ideas you won't create these portfolio images but it doesn't always have to be about the portfolio images and that's what i'm trying to tell you in this video because it's something that i had to learn and to accept myself that every single day i go out with the camera i'm not going to create images that are book worthy or print worthy and if we did well then it wouldn't be challenging or fun anymore. I'm going to show you two images right now. The first image I'm going to show you is of a lone tree I shot in my locality here in County Limerick um, in the Ballyhara region. And this is what I would call a typical portfolio shot. It's an image where I had found the location a couple of weeks in advance. I knew the minute I saw this tree conditions I wanted to shoot it in and I, sunrise was the main time of day I wanted to shoot it in firstly because I knew the direction the sun would be rising in and I noted the location and I waited for the conditions to come and on a given morning the conditions did come and I shot the image and I set it up on my tripod and I zoomed in and I manually focused and I made sure it was pin sharp from top to bottom and I took the image and hey presto it turned out to be um, a portfolio image that I am very proud of. The next image I'm going to show you is a drone shot and this drone shot was taken again in my locality and it's a very kind of a basic shot um, just a nice aerial image of some fells and valleys and hills with some nice golden hour light streaming up and if I was to gauge these two images based on their online reaction, as in the reaction that they got posted on my Instagram, well then the lone tree shot would would be the winner, hands down. And I can see why it's compositionally it's better. It's possibly a more pleasing shot to look at. And um and I've sold quite a few prints of that image, whereas I haven't sold any prints of the drone shot. Now I'm not saying you should judge the quality of your work based on print sales, but um, that's just an observation I made. So the difference between those two shots is the reaction they've gotten online. The thing that those two shots have in common is the level of enjoyment that I got from taking them. I got the exact same level of enjoyment as I did from the mechanical kind of stage thought out process of the lone tree 
versus the drone shot that I literally just sent the drone up in the sky, found what I thought looked nice and took the image. The reason I have a lot of pride for that drone shot is because that's my home area. My house can literally be seen, it can't be seen in the shop, it's just out of frame. And that's where I live and that's it's a very proud image for me to have taken. And that is what I'm trying to convey in this video is that the level of enjoyment you take between a portfolio shot and a very much an opportunistic shot should be the same. You should enjoy creating images and not every day is going to be a portfolio day. I just want to touch very briefly again on the social media side of things and the reaction that both images got. And as I mentioned before, the Lone Tree shot got a massive reaction online, very, very popular. Loads of comments, loads of likes, shares, all that kind of stuff. Whereas the drone shot didn't. Now, if I wasn't kind of tuned in and very much reflective about this, I would think that that drone image is, must, be, must be shocking. People mustn't like it. And if I allow that, to feed back into my photography, well then, I would never go out and take an opportunistic drone shot ever again. And that's where the issue lies. You have to strike this balance between the enjoying creating any image you like. Now, I'm not saying lower your standards. I'm not saying just go out and snap happy and take pictures of everything and anything to show your work. I still think you need to have standards. I still think you need to set a bar for yourself because if you don't set a bar for yourself, then you have nothing to aim for. What I am saying is you should not be disappointed on the days that you go out with your camera and you don't come back with a portfolio image. You should be happy with the days that you get the opportunity to go out and create. And it's often the days that I go out and I leave my tripod at home and I carry my 24 to 70 and my Z6 and I just shoot. Now I'm still keeping the composition in mind. I haven't forgotten all my photography roots, but it's very much a freeing process when I'm not striving for that portfolio image. If it pops along, happy days. We don't know what's gonna happen in the landscape, but a lot of the time it won't. So there's a time and place for those portfolio images and there's a time and place for those run and gun fun style shots. And don't, the problem with the social media side is that we see these beautiful portfolio shots conveyed the whole time. And we think if we don't go out and create them, then we're not photographers, but that's absolute nonsense. It's something that you have to strive for. It's something that you, it's a balance that you have to strike. It very much comes back to remembering why you picked up the camera in the first place. And it comes back to the standards you set yourself, but allowing yourself to be a creative within those standards. Standards don't always have to be met, but when standards are met, it'll make it all the sweeter. Best of luck.